Hello everyone. My name is Atish Kaur and I welcome you all to this video lecture on rank of a matrix. In this learning video, we will learn what is rank of a matrix, its working rule to get the rank, followed by examples which we will work out. So, let's see what is rank of a matrix. The number of non-zero rows of a matrix after applying elementary row or column transformations is called rank of a matrix. It is denoted by row of A or R of A or simply rank of A. One remark I would like to make here is when you are going to apply the elementary transformations Either you go with row transformation or column transformations, not both simultaneously. The problem that we work out in this learning video will make use of elementary row transformations only. Next is the working rule. So the working rule says, write down the given matrix, that's step 1. Apply row transformations to reduce the given matrix into an upper triangular form. That's step 2. Step 3 says, see number of non-zero rows of a matrix and write down its rank. So without much ado, let us take an example to work out. So here it is an example number 1. We are taking 3 by 3 example first and then we'll go for the 4 by 4 matrix. Find the rank of the matrix A. So the step number 1 says write down the given matrix. This is your matrix A. Now to get the rank, what are the targeted position? This, this and this. Now to make this element 0, you have to make change in R2 first and then this R3, this element and this. So to make this element 0, what would be your row transformation? R2 changes to R2 minus 3 times R1. So after applying this transformation, as you can see, R1 as it is, R3 as it is, change in R2. So only there will be change in the entries of R2. Now, after making this element 0, your next targeted position is this. To make this element 0, what would be your row transformation? R3 changes to R3 minus 2 R1. So, after applying this transformation, you will get this. Now, you have to make this element 0 without disturbing these two zeros. So to make this element 0, I will make use of R2. So to make this one 0, the row operation is R3 changes to R3 minus R2. Some students wrote R3 plus R2. So R3 plus R2 will give you minus 1 plus minus 1. That is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. But we don't want minus 2. We want 0. So operation would be R3 changes to R3 minus R2. Here it is. Now as the criteria for rank is satisfied, so let us count down the number of non-zero rows. This is non-zero rows, this is non-zero rows and this is zero rows. So how many non-zero rows? Just two. So rank of the given matrix is two. If this example is clear to you, we can move on to find out the rank of 4x4 four four matrix. Here it is, example number 2. Find the rank of the matrix A. I would suggest you to write down this matrix very carefully. Otherwise, you will get the answer, no doubt about it but that answer may not be correct. 
So always remember, whenever you are writing down the matrix, write down the matrix carefully. So we have to find out the rank of this matrix. So what is step number one? Step number one says write down the given matrix. Now, as we are smart now, so instead of writing one, instead of writing one row transformation, I would like to make three operations simultaneously. So what are the target position? This one, then this one, and this one. After making this three zero, I will move to these two positions. And after this two position, I will move to this position to make zero. So to make this, this and this zero, what are your transformations? R2 changes to R2 minus 2R1. R3 changes to R3 minus 3R1. And R4 changes to R4 minus 6R1. So after applying this row transformations, you will get this. Now, after getting this, my next objective is to make this and this position 0. So, I will make this position 0 by, by interchanging R2 with R3. Make sure whenever you are making the targeted element 0, the other zeros should not be disturbed. Okay? Means, okay? So, to make this one 0, I will simply interchange R2 with R3. So as you can see, first row as it is, fourth row as it is, there is a change in R2 and R3. So in place of R2, we have R3. In place of R3, we have R2. Now we have these three zeros, this zero. So what is the next targeted position? This. So to make this element zero, what would be your row transformation? R3 sorry r4 changes to r4 minus r2 okay so this change will gives you this so we are making change in r4 so first three rows as it is the change in r4 will gives you this now to make three elements zero two elements zero now only one position is left to make zero and which is that position this minus 3. To make this position 0, the transformation will be R4 changes to R4 minus R3. So you will get this. Now, as the criteria is for rank is fulfilled, so count down the number of non-zero rows. 1 non-zero rows, 2 non-zero rows, 3 non-zero rows. So what is the rank? Rank is 3. Now, this, this is very important not only for this topic but also for the next topic which is consistency of system of linear equations when you learn the consistency of system of linear equations you will enjoy learn and having fun if you understand this topic nicely thank you for watching this video and if you want such learning videos for the topic you find difficult to understand please write on comment section i will be back with your suggestions thank you